Israel has declared its futuristic anti-missile laser system Iron Beam fully operational. Developed by Rafael and Elbit system, the high-energy laser weapon is designed to intercept drones, rockets and missiles at a fraction of current cost. Defense experts say it could change the battlefield equation across the Middle East. The Iron Beam fires a 100 kilowatt high power laser that can burn through drones, rockets, mortars, and even short range ballistic missiles. Unlike missile interceptors, it relies on concentrated light energy, traveling at a speed of light to destroy a target within seconds. Traditional interceptors cost tens of thousands of dollars each, while the laser shot is almost cost free. Defense officials describe it as cheap as turning on a light. That makes Iron Beam specially useful against mass barrages of cheap rockets or swarm of drones. The system complements Israel's multi-layered air defenses that includes the Iron Dome, David's Sling and Arrow. Where the Dome and the Arrow rely on costly missile interceptors the Iron Beam brings a low-cost, high-volume solution against saturation attacks. How does it work? The laser locks onto a target with adaptive optics, concentrates energy on a small point and burns through its structure. The speed of light means multiple engagements chances. If the first shot fails, the system can re-engage instantly before the target crosses the Israeli skies. So what exactly can Iron Beam take down? And how does it shift Israel's war calculus? The Iron Beam has proven intercepts against UAVs, rockets, mortars and aircrafts at operational ranges. In recent trials, the system shot down threats across multiple scenarios, including drone swarms and short-range missile launches. Now let's talk about the direct energy weapon Israel has tested, the Iron Beam. With the help of uh, graphics and uh, the video wall, before I uh, get onto the text, let me just explain you this image. Uh, in this image, you can see uh, uh, this particular uh, is the projector through which a laser is directed at the target. And um, this appears to be a uh, aiming uh, point from uh, where uh, the aim is taken on the target, the target is fixed and uh, the laser is fired. It is a high energy 100 kilowatt laser. It can target drones, rockets, mortars and short range missiles. Uh, and it is uh, easy to do that because uh, it has got a very high speed. As far as cost is concerned, it is absolutely negligible as compared to somewhere around 50,000 US dollars when, it, when we talk of uh, high end interceptors. Uh, range, uh, obviously, uh, it has got a very long range as compared to the classic uh, interceptor missiles like the Iron Dome or uh, the David Sling. Uh, and uh, as far as speed is concerned, well, it is absolutely fantastic because the speed of this weapon system is that of the light where it means instant engagement. When it uh, uh, comes to integration, it has got a fantastic capability to integrate itself with the Israeli uh, air defense systems like the Iron Dome, David uh, Sling and the Aero missile system. The advantages are many. One of the most uh, striking advantages is that it can counter saturation attacks as we have seen how Iran had attacked Israel or how Hamas and Hezbollah had been attacking Israel with hundreds of rockets at one uh, point in time and thus it saves millions of rupees in budget, uh, correction dollars in budget. This matters because Israel faces constant rocket and drone threats from Hamas, Hezbollah and Houthi fighters. Traditional missile defenses strain under barrages. Iron Beam promises cheaper, faster and more sustainable protection. While other nations from the United States to China are testing laser systems, Israel is the first to field a fully operational 
high power laser weapon experts say this gives israel a strategic lead in directed energy warfare from cost efficiency to speed iron beam is set to reshape air defense across the middle east for israel it could blunt rocket barrages and drone swarms at scale for the region it signals a new era of warfare where lasers not missiles may decide the skies